Forty Kids, Forty, written by Phyllis Avina and illustrated by Tom Gillette. Chapter One. Every Saturday morning, Joe plays footy with his team, the Mighty Dragons. Joe was great at kicking the ball. He was super at bouncing it, and he was terrific at marking it too. But when it came to handballing, Joe wasn't very good at all. There was less than two minutes of the game to go when the ball came Joe's way. He marked it on his chest and ran with it as fast as he could. He bounced the ball once and then again before he was grabbed from behind. Pass it to me, yelled his teammates Ben and Lizzie. Joe did his best to shrug off the tackle. Quick, get rid of it, shouted Angus. Joe's best friend. Joe tried to handball the footy to Angus. He tried to hit the ball with his fist, but he fumbled and it dropped to the ground. Dropping the ball! shouted the umpire. A player from the other team, the Wildcats, swooped in and scooped up the footy. He took off with it. Play on! the umpire said. Joe and his team raced after the ball. But the Wildcats kicked the ball through the goals, winning the game by just one point. Chapter 2 Joe felt awful. He blamed himself for losing the match. If my handball didn't stink, we would have won, he said to Angus. Well done out there, kids, said the dragon's coach, Mr. Murray. You all should be very proud of yourself for playing such a great game. I'm not, said Joe. My heat will lost the game for us. If, if there was a contest for the worst and suckest handball of all time, I'll be the world champion. You're being too hard on yourself, said Coach Murray. Joe shook his head. Coach Murray frowned. Then he handballed the footy to Joe. I think you're, you were terrific out there, but if you're worried about it, then you should practice your handballing before our next game. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. So that's what Joe decided to do. He was going to practice his handballing every day for the next week. Chapter 3 On Sunday mornings, Joe handballed enough footy off his bedroom wall. It was easy. He couldn't miss the wall. His dog, Fang, would jump for the ball, catch it in the air, and bring it back. Fang was awesome at taking Becky marks. At school on Monday, Joe took every chance to practice his handball. Can I borrow a pencil? asked Emma. Yep, Joe said. He handballed his pencil case to her. Help yourself! But the pencil case flew past Emma and landed on the turtle tank. Shelly the pet turtle, moved the fastest anyone has ever see seen her move. Before long, Angus, Oliver and Lizzie had asked to borrow a pencil from Joe. He was happy to handball his pencil case across the desk to all of them. But Mrs. Smitty, the teacher, didn't look happy about football skill drills in her classroom. On Tuesday, Joe was on Canteen duty. He handled loaves of bread onto the cutting board. Only some of them missed. That day, a lot of kids had wobbly looking sandwiches. Chapter 4 On Wednesday after school, Joe was at his friend Lucy's house. That toy bunny is the same size as a footy, Joe said. He picked it out from a big pile of soft toys on Lucy's bed. 
Yeah, so, Lucy shrugged. Joe grinned. He handled the soft toy through the open window. Joe, no! Lucy cried. Bunnies can't fly! Soon every soft toy had been handled out of the window. Joe's handballing was definitely getting better. On Thursday afternoon, Joe was helping his mum bake a cake. When she asked him to pass over a bag of flour, Joe handballed it to her. No, Joe, the bag is open! But it was too late. A puffy cloud of flour went everywhere. His mum looked like a very angry ghost. Chapter 5 On Friday night, Joe hid behind the sofa. He was spying on his sister, Rachel. He was armed with three small couch pillows. The enemy is in position, he whispered to himself. Time to bring out my number one weapon. Okay, troops, Operation Hearboard set to get attack! He humbled the pillows one after each other straight out. Rachel said, Boom, boom, boom. Yo! screamed Rachel. Why, you little! That night, Joe also got some sprinting practice and tried to un outrun his angry sister. Chapter 6 On Saturday morning, Joe lined up to play footy with the Mighty Dragons. They were up against the team called the Panthers. It was looking like the match of the season. The score was tied. Each team had kicked 5 goals and 3 points. There was 1 minute left in the game. Joe had the ball and he sprinted toward to get towards the goals. Kick it, Joe! Everyone yelled, Kick it! But before he could, Joe was grabbed from behind. It was just like the last game. Joe had to handle the footy. Angus was running past. Joe, to me! He yelled. Joe hit for the best. He made a fist and hit the footy. The football fouled out like a cannonball. It spun like a torpedo. Shot right into the hands of Angus. It was the perfect handball. Angus ran on and kicked the goal just as the Empire blew his whistle. The game was over. The Dragons have won. Joe's teammates rushed to him and Angus. Woohoo! What a play! That was the best handball ever! Everyone cheered. Well, Joe, said Coach Murray. It looks like you did what I told you to do. Joe smiled. You were right, coach, he said. Practice makes perfect. And next time I practice, I might even use a footy.